dinner and a movie. Let's head now this morning to the uh, editorial coordinator and film critic for HollywoodChicago.com. Patrick McDonald is back with us. Hey, Patrick, good morning. Hello. Good morning, Baker. Be safe, be healthy. Whether cult film or honoree, let's go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that one. You've got a couple of movies to review. I'll let you start with yes, Doctor Strange. Yes, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness in theaters tomorrow, May 6th. In one of the more imaginative, visionary, and comic book-like renderings of a Marvel Cinema Universe film, Dr. Stephen Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, is back, and he's dreaming of multiple universes. Yes, the good doctor dreams of a bizarre adventure with a young female teen companion that turns out to be another iteration of himself in another universe, and soon this teen, Suchi Gomez, appears to the dreamer. She's a universe hopper, but cannot control it. Strange seeks help from his companion Wong, Benedict Wong, and the starlet witch, Wanda Maximoff, Elizabeth Olsen, but the witch turns on him. With a crisis looming in multiple realities, who are the friends and who is the enemy? Director Sam Raimi does his first Marvel film since 2007's Spider-Man 3 and brings back the more comic book motivations and less hero angst. The angst exists, but it's based more on the relationships in the film. The first part of the movie is slower than the, than the next part, but it, until after the entrance into the multiple realms, which is a stunning sequence. But when the film revs up, it doesn't let up and leaves tantalizing questions behind which for a change was not unsatisfying. The film is a big, great, big wow and cements the Marvel Cinema Universe as a place to be. Doctor Strange and a multiverse of madness, four and a half out of five in theaters with big lines starting tomorrow, May 6th.